What, what part of the country are you from, bro? I'm from uh, Los Angeles. Hey, that's what's up. So born and raised, you've been in LA your whole life? Born and raised um, all my life, yeah. I went, I did go to Arizona for a bit, um, but I'm back in LA now, so. I mean, other than like the big buildings and different things like that, what was the biggest difference between like Arizona and LA? Um, I would say, honestly, this is, this is going to be like, I guess kind of obvious, but like the weather for yeah. sure was like, it was super hot. Like I, at least in LA, you can go outside and enjoy yourself. Arizona, like you're inside all day. Like the, the, uh, uh, car seat belt touches you and you're like, ah, oh, you know, all so bad, like, you, 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 <laughs> all you, bad bro. That's the worst on a hot day, man. So you're a videographer, uh, you're a content creator. You're based down in LA. And like one of the things I noticed as I was scrolling uh through your um through like everything that you were doing, like you do these, you do these videos where you have people you like, yo, tell me when to stop. And then they wait a few seconds. I seen like I think I just saw Nick Cannon one not too long ago, a couple of days, well, like a day or two ago. And like he stopped in like two seconds. And like you basically create a video for people. What 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 made you start doing that? Um, so I think doing these videos before I started doing the stopwatch videos, I actually did, uh, like walk-ups as well. So I also do like where I walk into businesses and, um, I film them free videos and I try to target also like small, uh, minority owned businesses. Um, so the way that started was, you know, we were locked down and, um, you know, we couldn't really go outside, uh, during, you know, uh, pandemic. And honestly, it kind of all happened by accident. Um, you know, it was really hard to get content, you know, because yeah. I don't just do food videos. You know, I like to shoot athletes. I like to film car videos, strangers. You know, I like to do all of it, all of it. Mm -hmm. and, um, I don't like to limit myself to one, I guess, like specific niche. Yeah. And, um, you know, but it was just very hard to find people. So one day I'm like, you know, sitting on my couch and I'm like, you know what? Uh, maybe we should do like a food video. Uh, but I didn't want to go into any restaurants. So I remember that by my gym, there was actually a fruit vendor um, that used to sell fruit on the corner like every single day. So I told my brother, I'm like, hey, like, why don't we just go and see if if he's there? You know, he's like 15 minutes away. And um, sure enough, he was there. And I actually when I walked up to him, um, I only had enough money to pay for the bowl. Like I wanted to give him a tip um for for allowing me to film yeah. um because basically i was like hey like my name is jake i'm a videographer um do you think i can just get some cool shots of you cutting up fruit and i'm like i don't have a tip but like i can post it on my page and like maybe get you some business and um sure enough uh you know he was like yeah yeah let's do it let's do it he was he was a uh, really good sport about it um edited the video posted uh, the video and then i uh tagged the location and of course like a lot of uh, big pages picked it up you know it kind of just blew up and um from there um i was just like whoa like uh the power of social media is just like i i think i'm on to something now yeah and it kind of just i kind of just like did it by accident and i just kind of grew into it that's pretty incredible so like how do you choose i know how you chose that particular business but how do you choose uh the businesses that you decide or the people that you decide to cover I think for the for the most part, it kind of happens all by chance. Um, I think like sometimes, sometimes um, I'll, I'll be scrolling through my Instagram or my uh, TikTok, and uh, usually I'll uh, like just run across a, a business like, "Hey Jake, like our business is really slow," um, and that's kind of how I decide. Um, and sometimes like, I can just be out in LA, uh, you know, give it a shot. I also do go on Yelp as well and look up uh, restaurants like that. And, um, but yeah, I kind of, it's like a little bit of chance. And sometimes like, you know, I do get DMs. So I try to like pick out the ones that I feel needed the most. Got you, got you, got you, got you. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's awesome. And like, before you were doing these particular videos, what, what got you into videography? Hello? 
uh, worship team mm-hmm. with a piano player. Um, mm-hmm. His name was uh, AJ. And basically, you know, AJ, he went off to a different him on Instagram. And I believe I was like 15 at the time. And randomly, he just started posting videos on his page. And, um, you know, it would be off his GoPro from vacation and he would chop it to the music, you know? Mm. And, you know, I loved music. So when I saw the visuals and then like him cutting the videos with the beat of the music, I don't know what it was, but I was like mesmerized by it. And I'm like, you know what? Like, this doesn't seem too difficult. I feel like I can do the same thing. Like I have rhythm, you know, I kind of have a beat to it. So um, I would say that's kind of where the journey started. Got you. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome, man. That's pretty awesome. What's been your favorite video so far? I know it's like asking an artist what's their favorite song or what's the favorite picture you pr- uh, painted. I know this is this is a, such a deep question, but like if you could think of like maybe one or two that just like stand out in your head, like yo, these maybe it's probably the first one or the last one you just did or however it works. Whichever one you want to pick, bro. Hmm. I would say um, the the first one that I can think of is, um, and this happened almost like. Uh, I want to say two years ago, mm-hmm. um, it was a small barbecue pop-up um, okay. near uh, Corona. So um, I went and I shot them a video. Now, my my skills at the time, you know, you grow as an artist. You get better and better Absolutely. You know, with time. So at the time, you know, I wouldn't say like uh, that was like my best edit or my best work. But the reason I, that one, like, I really enjoyed that video was because of the impact that it had on their business. Like literally right after I posted the video, um, people were like tagging me in videos and in like Instagram stories, like, like huge lines of people like, uh, lining up just, just to buy their food. And then they sent me a DM like, Jake, like, this is crazy. Like, you know, we've never seen something like this. And, you know, um, people were, they were telling me that people were coming all the way from, uh, like Compton and, you know, mm-hmm. Compton is, you know, far from Karam. I mean, the, people were making like two hour drives yeah. just, to, just to go there. Um, and so I think that like, just seeing the impact that that video had on the business that made it one of my favorite ones, I would say, man, it's, ah, man, I think the second one would be, uh, I did a call of duty video. Okay. Um, and I did that one in, um, I went to comic con and I saw a bunch of guys dressed up in a bunch of Call of Duty. Oh, gear. yeah, I seen this. That was fire, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was- Thank you. Yeah. And they had all their guns. You know, they had all their guns. They were all strapped up. And, um, you know, I, I actually had um, food poisoning when I went there. Yeah. So I, yeah, yeah. So I had food poisoning. I was out of it. I was not getting any good content when I was there. And I felt like throwing up the whole time. And my friend James was with me and uh, was like, bro, like, let's just do one more lap and we're going to wrap it up right after. Yeah. And out of nowhere, you know, I see these Call of Duty guys and I'm like, bro, let's just shoot our shot. Let's see what they say. So we walk up to them and I was pretty much, I just made it simple because I was really sick. I didn't feel like ex- doing a lot of explaining. I'm like, hey guys, my name is Jake. I'm a videographer. Can I film you guys a Call of Duty video? Yeah. And they like all looked at each other and they were like, uh, like, what are you thinking? And I'm like, well, I want you guys running around the whole uh, convention center with your guns, you know, drawn. And they were kind of like freaking out a little bit because they were like, uh, I think we're going to scare people. Yeah. Yo, and- that's the first thing I thought. I was like, yo, did he get approval in the building before you did that? Because you know the way the world is. The world's crazy. Yeah. Bro. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. I would honestly, you know, when I would film a lot. I would get anxious about every little thing, every little thing, like even me, me like going up to a small business, like I would get so anxious about like, are they going to like pull out a gun on me? Like, are they going to like, you know, cuss me out? Um, But honestly, like after doing it for a while, you kind of just have to get rid of that fear. So I, it did cross my mind, but I was like, you know what? They allowed them in here. Like they're going to see me running around with the camera. The worst that's going to happen, like, Maybe I get yelled at, and uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It did run across my mind, but I was like, you know what, guys, screw it. Let's like just just do it. You know, it's gonna take like it's not gonna take that long. Um, so yeah, we had people running around the whole the uh, you know the whole convention center, 
And again, I did have food poisoning. So I was kind of like, I don't think this video is going to do well. I don't think it's going to perform well. Yeah. And sure enough, um, I edited the video, I posted it and it ended up blowing up. Um, I got in total probably like over 80 million views on, on that all the videos. Videos dope though. That video is crazy. Like when they <laughs> pop off the elevator, start running through like the room and going behind the pillars. Nuts, bro. Yeah. Yeah, nuts, yeah. Man. So where can everybody uh, follow you at if they don't already follow and consume your content already? Where can they follow you at online? Uh, they could follow me on all platforms. I'm pretty much on all platforms at Jake Seha. You spell Seha, C-E-J-A. Absolutely, man. When can we get you in the Bay Area to do some videos, bro? You got to come up here. You know what? I honestly, I have to find some. If you can show me some businesses that are you're like, hey, the owners have great energy. Um I think you know if you if you can hook me up with some businesses I can for sure go down there and surprise surprise a couple businesses. Same I just I just yeah, yeah. I just need to get some some uh some plan. So just some planning. I just got right, Let's let's yeah. do it, bro. Let's let's definitely work on that, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I I do appreciate your time. I know, you know, like you say you don't like talking about yourself, bro, but I think everybody uh wants to hear the story, man. Everybody wants to know like how you got started and how you got into it.